Now, now, let's either do a guest treatment tonight because no one said a guest today. Welcome back to another episode of We Rebuilds. Hey, so you see that yesterday we got a, the car started. Now that it started, um, um, I end up changing a good amount of fuse. End up, we had three blown fuses. So we had a 10, a 30, and a 30 in the back. So now we only have about 15 coats. So we still have that um, communication coat. So I just need to probably fix those green and and pink wires so I'll just look more into that and look at the the, the, the wiring diagram that Audi has but hey we're gonna move it front to back anyways like share subscribe drop, drop your comments and thoughts down below turn your post notifications on hey don't forget to check out wewebuilds.com copy yourself some merch and hey and also click on all social media links make sure you share this video hey let's get into it hey so as you can see we move up some of the stuff we got some of the stuff um installed uh so we put the engine cover back on you can see i still have these wires taped off so i still need to do that and some of the boxes on i zip tie these wires so i can move it a little bit and then see what happens plus i got a coolant bottle over there the exhaust is in so that's also on the car right now quad tips so now we're about to reverse it i still can't get the trunk to open i don't know what's wrong so it's either either that switch or the switch up front or something is not reading or some sensor so but i'm about to move it right now and let y'all see it So that's pretty much a little bit of our mini test drive uh, but you could see all the codes on the, the dash right now so these are all the codes that I have so far but apart from that um, still got the ABS light and the airbag light and then we have a whole bunch of other stuff that keeps popping up yeah these are all the stuff it runs a little bit rough so I may need to rewire that um the wire for the manifold because I need to look at the wiring schematic for that also so but that's pretty much it I have left to deal with honestly because 
and then just to find out why it's running so rough because this gas has been in this car for about three years so uh, I could see if I could put the car in a uh, dynamic hold on let me see if if it will work or if I could find it it won't go in dynamic oh it's in dynamic and then that's comfort because it's not vibrating as hard so back in dynamic Send us sure if it if you wire the correct way. Oh. So that also could have been why it a run so rough. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So I just probably need to fix the wire them. So I have to look for them. Hey, but that's it. That's it right now on this episode of Weary Builds. As you can see, we move it forward and we move it back a little bit. Just to see if um it moves so it does move. I know it wants oil though, engine oil, and I need to top off the transmission because the transmission feels a little bit rough. So that's why I didn't when driving with it. So I know we have those things left and then we could just um, have the front fitted up and then we test it on the road and see if everything is good. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Don't forget to check us out on WeRebuilt.com. Grab yourself some merch. Check us out on all social media links. Hey, until next time, stay positive, stay motivated. And guess what? It's almost done. Hey.